He's got three people looking at him. That's that's crazy. As he's coming off this screen, he's got three people right here. Then they wonder why he can't win in Portland. <laughs> What up, Hoopers? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another breakdown. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Damian Lillard. He was the highest performer from last night, although they did lose, but he still dropped in what he had. 34 points against the Toronto Raptors. So let's jump into this film. Let's see where he got this 34 from. All right, here we go. First play right here. We get the switch on the screen, get an ISO. A little stab and step back. Coming off of this switch, he's just walking him down to a spot right here. Now, anybody that knows Damian Lillard or seen a Portland Trailblazers game knows that he likes to get to this spot right here and shoot these, these step backs, these between the leg jab step backs really quick. So as he's going between the legs, he's got the defender on his heels. He hops into it, stab, step back. So what helps about this move is when you hop into a move, it makes defenses freeze because they don't know if you're going to go into a shot, you're going to go past them, you're going to cross over, whatever. Whenever you hop into a move, especially when you go uh, laterally side to side hop, it freezes the defense. So he hops, he freezes, stab at him, and then pull it back for a jumper. Attack, good take. See, this this play right here was set up because Freddie comes down a little bit too far to get this steal. So he comes all the way down here. From right here, he's committed. He's already two foot under the three-point line. Dame is a hell of a shooter. He's out here with all of this space right here. That's too much space for Dame. Freddie knows this. So as soon as that ball goes, he starts sprinting back problem with that is that's an easy closeout to attack he's sprinting out there all you got to do is put that ball on the floor and go right past him he gets past him he gets into the paint little crossover right left shoulder ball high gets this guy in the air then move it right over to the left hand shows a high moves it right over finish at the rim catch a shoot three-pointer right here his hand down, man down. Coming off of the screen, once again, this guy's way too way too far in for the help. Looks like they're in the zone too. He's trying to get him, get him out there. This is the giveaway right here for me that they're in the zone. This center standing right here at the free throw line and completely ignoring this guy on the on the backside. You got three of these guys out high and then the top two front. So they're in the 2-3 zone right here. And you can see this guy right here, he's pointing at Dame to try to get his point guard to slide over and cover that. Because in these zones, that's the weak spot. Whenever you screen off the first guy, this guy has to come over and help. And that leaves the wing wide open. And even if he wants to come up and guard the wing, he's going to have somebody wide open down here on the baseline. So this wing corner guy, he's stuck in a bad position because he has to play Dame on the shot. And he also has to watch this guy on the baseline. Doesn't get out there. Quick read. Hand down, man down. High screen up top. Another one. Right past him, that's easy. I don't, I didn't see a foul there. But he gets his double screen up top. Nurkic comes to set the final one. And he just comes out late. I guess he's thinking shot. But he's, he's standing up flat footed. Damn goes right past him. Left, right, up at the rim. I didn't see a foul here though. I don't know who got called for that foul, but that's a weak foul. If you're gonna foul him, fouling you don't want to give up an and one on a silly you know slap foul like that you got to wrap his ass up make sure he doesn't get three points out of that it's too easy high screen here good lay he's attacking the rim gets a screen right here doesn't get too much out of it but it gets freddy moving so you can see right here, you can't really see it from this uh, lateral view, but if you had the baseline camera, you can see that Fred's, his hips are to the to the sideline. And Dame is facing the baseline. So there's no way you're gonna get back in front of somebody when you're guarding like that. And he just goes right past him. Now this big guy has to come over to give him help. 
he doesn't get in front of him in time, which is a poor angle. These two guys should come in and close off this angle right here. There's no way that Dame should be able to split both of these guys and get to the rim and score. He's got to get in there and stop the play, make something happen. Both of them do really. This guy in the corner, he's scared to close out because he doesn't want to give up a corner three-pointer. But if you just get down there and hold your hands high, take away that passing angle, he, he should be good. Nurkic rolls to the rim, attracting the, the other weak side defenders. So at this point, you got all five defenders or four out of the five defenders with two feet in the paint. And he goes right into it, right into the body, right, left, gives him a little shoulder bump into his chest. Boom. Finish at the rim. Good take. He's got three people looking at him. That's that's crazy. He's got three people. As he's coming off this screen, he's got three people right here. Then they wonder why he can't win in Portland. <laughs> This guy cuts too late. Number 11, he cuts too late. If he cuts a little bit earlier, around now, simple basket cut, he'd have this angle for this pass. And then maybe the pass gets through, he gets down here, he could kick it right back out to Nurkic up top for a three if he wants that shot, if Nurkic wants to shoot that. But it, it's there. Crossover into the paint, right up into the shot. Now he goes into his body here right into his hip right left that's pretty good defense man nothing you could do about that against dame that's, that's fucking good defense offensive rebounds transition and offensive rebounds are the two best times that you'll get a wide open three-pointer rebound goes up everybody's crashing the boards everybody's in the paint they get the rebound and now they're scrambling Right here, you see there's two people on Simmons over here in the corner. That's because of that shot goes up. These two guys close out, and then they get frozen there. We get the offensive rebound, and now we're playing four on five. They're out of position, so everybody has to rotate. Ball goes wide to the, to the wing, back up top to Dame, and he just doesn't get there in time. Transition. Give it up, get it back, knock it down. Same thing here. In transition, you have everybody running, everybody scrambling. Nobody's really matched up. You see uh, 22 goes from guarding the ball to coming all the way over to the wing for Dame when there's somebody already coming out to close out on Dame. So right here, you create the, the opportunity. Come back to the middle, give it up get it back and they're still not matched up because you have 21 on Dame and now 22 tries to get out there but if this was a half court set they'd probably be matched up a little better you wouldn't have this confusion leading to this open three pointer so that's why transition and offensive rebounds those are the two best time to get open threes up what you got for me between that's a hell of a take hell of a shot Gets the ISO up top against the taller, longer defender. Between, he's attacking that high foot. Gets him to drop that foot and open up. Opens up extremely wide. And when he tries to get back to him, tries to cut, beat him to the spot and cut him off, he ends up fouling him. Pretty weak foul, but it's a good ass shot. Catch up top, another ISO. Ah, that's the floater right there. Look at this, look at this sweep through though. Low below the knees, defender has his hand there. If you, if you sweep through nowadays, they're gonna move that hand. They don't wanna get caught for that reaching foul. So sweeps through low below the knees. That's a very fundamental good play right past him you see he gets right past him on a sweep through he should have shot the floater from right there i don't know why he didn't shoot that floater it just didn't feel right i guess gives it up offensive rebound 
yeah man so that's all for the damien lillard breakdown today make sure you guys like the video subscribe help us get to 2k uh add the instagram pushing our potential and until next time we out